Hello, I'm Humphrey Hawksley and at 12 noon on Friday, February the 26th, I'll be your host for the book club on The Queen's Gambit by Walter Tevis. Now this book is almost 40 years old. It was published in 1983 and you may have seen it on a Netflix series that made it into a runaway box office hit. Now, what a compelling story. Beth, aged eight, is orphaned and sent to a home which keeps children under control with tranquilizers to which she becomes addicted. Beth is lonely and miserable, but she discovers the janitor playing chess down in the basement and insists that he teaches her. He does, and she is brilliant. She lies in bed at night, visualizing chess games, strategies, moves, openings. It's the 1960s. The world's best chess players are in the Soviet Union, which is also America's enemy number one in the Cold War. I won't say any more at this stage, but on the cover of the first edition, the author of The English Patient, Michael Odachi, said that he reads The Queen's Gambit every two years for the pure pleasure and skill of it. Sarah Miller in The New Yorker said, anyone who has ever felt lost, rejected or underestimated while nurturing a fierce, mute hope that something residing deep within them might somehow save their life would love this book. Now, haven't all of us felt something like that at some stage of our lives? The Queen's Gambit is far more than a book about chess. If you love chess, come and tell us about it. If you don't play chess, if you hate chess, come and tell us about it. This is about the struggles, your lives, the mountains that you've climbed, that you're still climbing, that many of us still are. It's a book about a little girl who had determination and talent and the child within us all that never gives up. Please come and talk about The Queen's Gambit with me, February 26th at our Care Visions Book Club. Thank you.